my husband was out hunting and he shot a big fat gray squirrel so tonight for dinner we're having squirrel with onion gravy come on along and see how i make it this is a really simple recipe with not a lot of ingredients of course you have your squirrel carcass. We only have one squirrel. That's all I got hunting. And then we have some chopped up onions. I usually use yellow onions but I didn't have any so I'm using red. Some chopped up carrots. We're going to need flour and salt and pepper to your taste. And then when we make the gravy, well, you can thicken it with cornstarch or you can thicken it with flour. But that's all you need. So in the pressure cooker, we've got the squirrel, we're going to add our carrots, and then some water, and follow the instructions for your pressure canner. Okay, we're going to put it on manual, and we're only going to want it for 10 minutes. Get on high pressure, 10 minutes. So we gotta wait till it brings up to pressure. Now you wanna let it cool a bit when you take it out of the pressure cooker. But your next step is taking the meat off the bones. So we're just dropping the squirrel meat into the flour a bit. Shake it off. And I'm putting it in the frying pan. Where we've got the bottom of the frying pan is covered in grease, hot grease. a bit of time to get the meat off the squirrel but it's worth it it's really sweet meat Now we just want to fry up both sides. Now we're going to 
add the juice from the pressure cooker. Turn it down to about medium high and we're going to cook it until the onions are nice and tender. Be back then. Now I didn't have to really thicken the gravy because of the flour on the meat. It kind of thickens up itself. So as you can see, you got nice gravy and you got meat. Let's dish it up. So here you have nice wild game dinner. Mmm, it's tender. Onions are still a little crunchy the way I like them. And the gravy has a really good flavor. This is a great dinner to have now or after the apocalypse. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and as always, thank you so much for watching.